name is John C. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Can't complain. That's can't complain. No. <laughs> Energy. Uh, let's see. So, what's your name? My name is Joe Wilson. I am Brazilian. Wilson. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, so, are you in Brazil right now? Yeah, in Brazil right now. Um, I live. I live in the northeast area of Brazil. Northeast. Okay. All right. Um, it says here, and I don't know. Hold on. One second. I want to check this out. Oh, okay, that's why I was confused because it says it says that your location is in Tokyo Land, but it's not <laughs> in Brazil. Tokyo so, Land, so, no. I'm so Brazil, I was yeah. okay. So I was like, that's very far away from Brazil. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it says that. Uh, okay, so yeah, you're in northeastern Brazil. So how you doing? Is everything? Is everything okay right now? I know things are a little chaotic at the moment in the whole world. Yeah, it's a little bit chaotic here too because uh, mm -hmm. has been you know a little uh, resurgence of the the cases. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. 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 But you know, hopefully we're gonna get this um, vaccine. You know, people right. Are, We'll get vaccinated, and uh, well, we are gonna live our normal life again. And I today hope a, so. Today it's a holiday here in Brazil. Oh, is it? What holiday? It's my day off. Um, religious one. It is called Corpus Christi. Corpus Christ. Oh, uh, today's Corpus Christi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know. I didn't realize it was today. <laughs> so um so my family uh, i mean my family's supposed to be catholic so that's how i know about corpus christi i'm not very religious but but you know yeah, me, I, I am familiar i am familiar with it. <laughs> but um i live in italy so i'm surprised that it's not a holiday here too because Italians are quite religious too, obviously. Oh, um, yeah, well, here actually it was a holiday yesterday, but it wasn't religious. It was because it was um, after the war, they voted whether to be a monarchy or a republic, and they chose a republic. So yesterday was like the Independence Day, I guess. Oh, for right. yeah, yeah. So so yeah, so I'm surprised the holiday wasn't also today. That's that's great. What did you? Sorry. Are you living in Italy? You know. I parlo, do. Parlo un po', parlo un poco di italiano. Ah, um, sì. Mi mangiare? No, no, no. Mi gusta mangiare la pizza. <laughs> mi piace, mi piace mangiare yeah. la pizza. Yeah, you know, I mix up it Spanish with Italian. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Well, I speak Spanish too, so I understood. <laughs> oh, sí. Hablo sí, un poquito sí. español, sí. Mi También, sí. Sí, sí. <laughs> sí. But, yeah, I speak, um, so I'm Canadian, but my my parents are Colombian. All right. Can you speak, so, can you talk, can you say a little bit about yourself, please? Yes, uh, yeah, of course. So, I didn't well, my name that. is, <laughs> say it again. I didn't ask that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I can. I can do that. Uh, so my name is Annie. Um, I'm 30 years old. Uh, I'm from Canada, from uh, like Toronto area. And I, but I lived in Miami for many years when I was a kid. So, so I, I like grew up both in the U.S. and Canada. Um, my parents are Colombian. They're from Bogota. Um, and I, yeah, I live in Italy now. Um, I came here as a student, then I came back, uh, for work, but I'm going to be a student again because I want to do a master's. So, 
I'm actually going to study some Italian. I mean, I, I can speak Italian, but I want to, I have to pass a test for university. So, so I have to make sure that I, that I can pass it. <laughs> so I'm going to study some more Italian. And then next year, I want to start my, my degree, my master's degree. Oh, yeah. Nice. What about you? You tell me about yourself now. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, my name is Joel, so as I told you before, I am a fake YouTuber. I have one million subscribers. And wow, that's awesome. <laughs> what? That's, that's a lot of people. I'm not, I'm not famous, and I don't have one million <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> I, I, ha I have, like, I mean, I don't have a YouTube channel, but, like, I have, like, 400 <laughs> followers, so a million seems like a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I do, but I do have a YouTube channel where I've been sharing my classes, you know, on YouTube, like to to embolden those that are still uh, struggling with talk to native speakers. And mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I am a software developer. I work creating software. Wow. What else? What else? Oh, I love learning language. Uh, I try, I try in the past learn Italian, but I miserably failed. No, <laughs> in a few words, and uh, Spanish. Well, I think uh, a little bit of Spanish, like you know, I can get by, but uh, right. I, don't have, I don't have too too much vocabulary in Spanish to sustain a prolonged conversation. Okay. I would say that my official language is English. Like my official, right. official foreign language is English. It's English, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, your English is very good. Um, so I find, well, when I was growing up, uh, especially in, I mean, I have Brazilian friends in Canada too, but especially in Florida, um, I had a lot of Brazilian friends and it was very interesting to me because I realized that it was easier for Portuguese speakers to speak and understand Spanish, but Spanish speakers have a hard time understanding Portuguese speakers. Yeah. And it's, yeah. and I, I still don't know why. I mean, if you speak to me in Portuguese, I might hear some words that I understand, but I, I, I won't be able to really tell you that I'm I understood, tell, you know? I'm not, I'm not tell you why based on my knowledge, because I studied a little bit of phonetic and phonetic, phonetic and phonology by myself in order, okay. to, in order to, you know, to brush up on my accent. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, Spanish speakers, they cannot understand fully uh, Brazilians, Portuguese, because we don't, we have kind of um, nasal sounds that they don't have. For example, right? Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, coração, you know, right? Kind of weird for them, but mm -hmm. uh, we can't understand it because they have like similar. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we can really uh, easily identify. For example. We don't have this propensity to roll our R, like right, say, uh, say, uh, right, so, yeah, yeah. yeah I know if you want to exaggerate something like a statement, yeah, that people, you know, uh, will understand you. But, but for example, if I say hato for them, because our, you know, our, um, R, it's like that. Correct. We use the. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. We, oh. we have to use your throat. It's it's the same sound like the letter H in English. Right. I didn't and, know the R did that. Wow. Yeah. No idea. For example, I don't know if you talk to someone called Rodrigo or Renato. You know, oh, we don't say Rodrigo okay. or right. Renato. Mm -hmm. No, you say, speaker, oh, they say, oh. Renato, Rodrigo. So if someone say Rodrigo, 
you know, a Portuguese, a, a Brazilian would easily identify that you are saying someone's name. But if I say Rodrigo, uh, then they, I wouldn't. They would, oh my God, wow, what are you saying? Right, <laughs> right. Oh, that is so interesting. You know what's interesting about that too for me? So you said you were learning. Um, so thank you for teaching me that because I didn't know that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so in Italian, um, they also have different accents, of course. But in Tuscany, so the Italian language came from Tuscany, right? Um, and in, in Tuscan, in the, in the Tuscan accent, especially in the Florentine accent, the letter C has that kind of like a similar sound to like the letter R you're talking about. So, but it's only in Tuscany. If you go to Rome, they don't do this. Um, but for example, the word Coca-Cola, right? Mm -hmm. in, in Tuscany, they'll say Coca-Cola. Wow. It sounds, wow. it sounds like an H. So it's interesting yeah. to me that other languages have have kind of like a similar thing happening with different letters, of course. But but if that's, you know, maybe new information too for you. So if you come to Italy and you go to Florence, they'll tell you, do you want a Coca-Cola? They'll say, voy una Coca-Cola, una Coca-Cola. It's like, yeah. they don't say, they don't say Coca-Cola. They don't say Coca-Cola. Uh, yeah, but right. I didn't know that in Brazilian Portuguese, it was that, but it's Brazilian Portuguese or all Portuguese? No, Brazilian, Brazilian. Brazilian Portuguese, Portuguese has the R like that. Well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, nice. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes yeah that makes sense because again, I remember my Brazilian friends. They would just go and talk to my parents, but I couldn't talk to their parents. You know, in English, yeah. yes, <laughs> but I couldn't. I mean. When they talk to me, I'd be like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Well, That's awesome. It, what what you said about this uh, this place in Italy reminded me the Argentinian accent, you know, because they the letter, you no, know, they they say this letter. What is what is the letter? For the people, letter J. Uh, J. No, yeah. Not J. The, the the letter Y, but the sound. Y. Yeah. 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 Uh, they, Show sure, yeah, show sure, tango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's weird. I oh. still, I still don't know why they do that. I tried looking it up, and I still don't know why they do that. It blows my mind because no one else, yeah. just Uruguay <laughs> and Argentina, they're the only ones that go show. Sure. You know. <laughs> but I, I do, I do love the the accent. You know. I, you know I what's talk, funny? I yeah. stuck to 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 a, a girl from Argentina and uh well so cute the way that <laughs> she talked that to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um the first time I came to Italy, I, I didn't speak Italian at all back then. So for my ears, as somebody who didn't speak Italian at that time, to me Italians spoke they sounded like Argentinians. And I and the Argentinian accent for me, Argentinians are speaking Spanish with an Italian accent because it's like they, they just kind of drag the words, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes sense because obviously so many Italians went to Argentina, right? So, but it was funny to me because again, I would hear Italian, I'd be like, oh my God, it sounds like they're Argentinian, you know? It was very nice to talk to you. See you next time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.